Hey everyone, this is Dhruvin and in this session we are going to talk about one of the important concept in Power BI service which is dataset impact analysis. During this session we are going to talk about what is dataset impact analysis and how it is useful in our day to day real life scenarios. So now let's get started. First of all, let's consider one real life scenario. Let's say for an example, you have so many data set in your workspace and now you are going to make some changes into your data set. But you don't aware about this data set is used in how many of reports, workspace or dashboard and how many users are going to affected due to that change. This is something that you can perform easily with the help of data set impact analysis. Now let me show you that procedure in detail. Let's say for an example, here I have opened one of my Power BI workspace which is Adel Mobile View Report. Now what I wanted to do here is I want to perform dataset impact analysis. For that what I need to do here is first of all we need to go to the view option and we need to select the lineage view from here. This option is something which is only available in the lineage view of the workspace. So I just open the lineage view over here. Now here you can see that the name of the data source then its a corresponding data set and its corresponding reports and dashboard information right now we just wanted to assess the impact of the data set right for that what we need to do here is let's say for an example this is one of my data set there are two types of data set shared data set and non shared data set when the, uh, when the data set is shared among different workspaces you can see the people icon here just beside the data set icon right and this is the icon for non shared data set now i just wanted to know like if i make any changes to this particular data set where it is impacted for that we have the impact icon available over here we just need to click on that impact icon so it will open this type of pop up for us now which information does it show let me show you that thing in detail here you can see that first of all it will show all the affected workspaces reports dashboard and viewers now let's say for an example this particular data set is used into three different workspace so it provides the name of those workspaces as well now let's say whenever i'm clicking on any of the workspaces it will redirect me to that workspace as well right now second thing is report now let's say whenever i'm expanding this thing you can see that this particular data set is affected two different reports from this workspace one report from this workspace and one report from this workspace so total four reports will be affected due to this right with that if this data set is used in any of the dashboard it will show that dashboard information as well to you right and it is showing the number of viewers who are getting affected due to this data set make changes with this we have also an option of notify contacts now what this functionality do is let's say for an example whenever we click on that it will notify all the users who are getting affected due to this data set changes right and the clear information is mentioned that an email notification will be sent to all contacts for all impacted workspaces including workspace you don't have access to right now we just need, we we can also customize this message as well now whenever we click on send um, over here what it will do is it will send the email notification from the contact list for all of these workspaces right so those user will be notified that you are getting affected due to some changes for this particular data set right so we have talked about uh, the shared data set now let's talk about some regular data set so let's say whenever i'm clicking here it is showing all the workspace report dashboard and viewers information over here right and whenever we click on notify contact it will notify the contact list from the affected data set reports or workspaces right this is how the data set impact analysis will work in power bi service hope this is clear for you now if you have any question related to this topic you can add your questions in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay tuned with me on facebook linkedin twitter whatsapp and podcast stay connected with me have a great day goodbye